everybody. It's Alana, and I'm here to do another nail thingy. What is going on? I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing today. I am going to make Jack Leonard nail art using just a few simple nail polishes. What I've done though so far is I've put my peel off base coat on. Because I use a glue paste base coat right now, I swear I'm going to upgrade soon. I keep saying that and yet I, I still forget to. I am, I've got to wait for it to dry. Unfortunately also, this kind of a base coat requires body heat to dry faster and I am freezing. So I'm sitting here with my fingers on a light bulb practically, trying to uh, warm up so that it dries a little faster. So I'm going to get my area set up. We'll get to it. I'm all set up. I've got my orange. I've got black, which I will be using for the details. And I've got a clear top coat. But first I'm just going to do a couple layers of this neon orange, like fresh pumpkin, fresh from the, from the patch on my nails. This stuff dries down matte, which I was quite shocked about. Always be sure to cap your nails. This is the nail that got sacrificed to the pumpkin broke when I was scraping the insides out of the pumpkin. And you can already see it on these nails that it's drying down matte. Now as I've learned in the past, I'm not going to like zoom my hand real close to my camera because there is no zoom and it has a tendency to get blurry. So you can't see what I'm doing. And that's just, I'm just going to do basically that. Do a couple of layers till it's completely single color you can't see my nail underneath and you don't see streaks like how that is you see that big streak in there and that'll take me probably about a half an hour to an hour to do two layers of that as you can see i've got a second coat because they're much brighter color and you'd think that i'd be going straight for the black but actually i'm going to do a clear top coat on this to create a safety barrier that way if i have to make any correction there's a little bit between the corrective tools and the color. So we're just going to slather on a thick glossy top coat onto each nail. Ignore the fact that my phone did ring and I'm totally ignoring it. Actually, I'm failing at it. Ignore it. This stuff, because it dries down matte, can be difficult to draw on with the brushes. So there we go. I'm going to let this dry and we'll get right back to it. It'll dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I've got this, which is the lid to my fudge stripe cookies that I didn't throw away because I knew I was going to do this. What I've got is I've got that and I've got my black nail polish, which I got at the Dollar Tree because I was cheap. And it is like really, really runny nail polish, so I don't suggest it personally. Unless you really just want a cheap nail polish that you use for stuff like this, little details. This is a little more than a little detail. This is like what makes these jack-o'-lantern nail polishes. And I've got this brush that's got a slight angle. And I just dipped it into the color. And I'm going to very carefully work it into a little, so you can see by how streaky it is. It's not the greatest, see? And I'll, I'll go over it again in a second, though this will be a two-coat sort of. Just kind of try to be as even as possible. Happy little nails. This little dot for the nose. It's a shorter nail because I've been having some breakage. And that's, I think, because of the um, gel nails we did not long ago. They're just a little weak and rough on the top, but you guys deserve to know the truth about the gel. Now you just kind of carefully and slowly work a care a gentle, apparently very interesting zigzag pattern. What is with that? Yes, I'm shaking. I'm actually authentically cold even though the heater is on. So there's like nail number one, like that. And now we'll move on to the others.
And there you have it. Now, how do I clean my brush? Well, that's really easy. That's really, really easy. I just take a little bit of acetone. Don't worry if it splashes or spills. It disintegrates so quickly. Then I just dip it in there and bam, clean brush. Easy peasy. Normally I have that sitting out just in case, but as you could also tell, I had to correct a little bit because my pinky got a little wiggly. It happens being that it's the furthest from my dominant hand, it's gonna happen. As I was talking, it dried. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on a gentle pressing, no harsh pressing. I'm gonna go ahead and do a glossy top coat on top of the whole thing. And there you have it. I hope you guys liked this awesome and very simple nail art tutorial. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already yet, please hit that subscribe button and make that bell ring loud and proud so you can hear when I post because I post pretty regularly. I see you, love you, always thinking of it. Even if you don't love me, I still love you. I don't care. It's in my nature. Have a really great day. Don't let anyone get you down. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle and do it with passion or not at all.